Hey guys, how's it going? This is COVID from Kodo COVID YouTube channel and welcome back to another video tutorial on this channel. So you are here in YouTube or uh, my website. If you are in my website, go and subscribe my YouTube channel. And if you are here in YouTube, please go down and subscribe to this channel first of all. And then we will move to the topic. So what's today's topic? You might have known by seeing the title in the video. So in this video, I am going to be guiding you about coding resources. So uh, many of my friends who are beginning uh, starting their programming career and many of them just ignore their programming, just saying and giving the reason that I don't have good resources to go. And my answer to them has been like, what are you telling? So if a programmer gives that answer, he's not a programmer. So a programmer is very much passionate about his work. So first thing you have to understand is your dedication towards your work. You need thoughts of dedication towards your work if you want to continue your work. And it's uh, in all the fields and various diverse fields. You need dedication to all your work. That is called passion. So you need passion to work hard and achieve your goals. And you don't need a big computers to code. So first thing is you need dedication toward your work. And second thing I want to tell you guys is you don't need high-end computer to start coding. So here comes the um, debate on uh, if you uh, don't have a good computer, how can I code? And that's, that's all who, uh, what people say. But I think in your beginning career of programming, you don't need any high-end PC. And I don't have a high-end PC. I am showing you my computer picture in this video, you can see. And that's my computer. It's totally not high-end, it's low-end and it can work what I need but sometimes it may not work properly like if I am doing machine learning like TensorFlow then it doesn't support the GPU version so I am not able to do that in my company but I can do web designing, web development and software development in my computer and that's all what I need so after using my programming knowledge into a real world project and after making a real world project then I can start earning money and then I can invest it in my company and that's all what I do and third thing I want to tell you guys is you should not be hopeless just grow up man it's time for growing up don't be hopeless and many of uh, my friends tell me that my parents do not allow me to use computers and being a teen and they should also handle their studies in Nepal and here in Nepal that's the function of studies and other Asian countries too so how can you manage your families and your career so many of the parents think that um, my son or daughter should only be focused on study that's all not like that <clears throat> if you are parents then don't let your kid just rely on study just leave him give him a freedom and it's human rights and give him a freedom and they can just watch on him or watch on her if he or she is going in a bad sector, then you can guide them. But if, what if they are going to the good sectors? And that's the problem. And <clears throat> if you give freedom, there are two things that are possibly going to happen. The first thing that is that he or she can get the good line. And second thing is he or she can get the bad line. So the best thing you need to do is just watch on your kid what he is doing and just use your thinking if he's doing right or wrong and 
if you are not parents, if you are a kid, then my answer to you is just make your parents feel happy what you do. And if your, your parents' main motive is not to harm you or disturb you, it's just that you should get uh, opportunity and opportunity or a good future. That's not, there is not their selfishness. That's all about you. They are thinking about you. So make her, them happy about what you have done. And uh, uh, you can handle your studies too. Don't uh, give your whole time to program. You can get, give 10 hours for programming and 12 hours for study. And that's the ratio. Don't leave your sleep and just program. You need health too. And fourth thing I want to tell you guys is health. While programming, many of my viewers and subscribers just don't care about their health. But the main thing is you should care about health. Without you, there is no one. Without you, there is no one. Yeah. Without you, you there is no one to uh, help you around. If you are there, then all the world is there. So keep your health, keep yourself healthy. Go to gym, or if you are uh, above eighteen, and if you are under eighteen, do some home workouts, have some good diets, and that's all what we need. And stay healthy. And the fifth thing that I want to tell you is that if you don't have resources, try to find it. But don't make your parents forced to do something there may be their problems aside but they are doing as much effort as they can don't tell your parents forcefully just tell them i need this and if they can afford they will purchase you that if not then work hard you should work and earn money and then you can as much as you can you can spend it and the sixth thing I'm gonna tell you is that is it just a number and many of guys ask me that is uh, my age uh, less to start programming or great bigger to great program so programming doesn't rely on age you can start when our you are one or you can start when you are 60 it's not a matter of fact the matter of fact is your knowledge, how much you can develop your logic. And that's the problem. And many of guys think that I am just older or I'm just younger to start programming and that I don't have tutors around me. Then you can go and uh, find online tutors in my channel. I have put down the videos, videos and many of the videos and I am going to upload many of the videos. You can go and check it out. And you can start so guys these were the things i want to tell you guys in this video and i will be uploading more videos like this if you are new here consider subscribing and don't forget to like down below and if you are your uh, friends are also suffering from these problems then go and share this video with your friends in whatsapp facebook twitter and anywhere else make it viral and let them know what is the basics of coding and what are the problems of coding and how you can just give solutions today. So thank you guys for watching this video. This was for today's video. Hope you guys liked this video and I will meet you in the next one. Thank you.